You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASOF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irwan, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. In this part, we are going to talk about uh, oscillator and actually uh, we will try to focus on radio frequency oscillators and we will discuss uh, voltage controlled oscillator uh, which is called VCO. So what is an oscillator? It's an electronic circuit that produces a periodic oscillating electronic signal of a sine wave or a square wave. Oscillator converts direct current DC from a power supply to an alternating current AC signal. They're widely used in many electronic devices. So uh, like every other electronic block, oscillator needs a DC power in order to produce the AC signal. And we are going to talk about this uh, in details. So uh, here we can see a block for oscillator. And as you see, uh, this oscillator uh, is kind of like a pump. It's like kind of amplifier. Imagine that in amplifier we have input and output, but for oscillator we, we don't have any input. So we only have power ground. Sometimes it can be uh, the VSS2 here. And at the output, we will be able to see our uh, signal. And what is the purpose of using uh, local oscillator? Uh, so what is the purpose of uh, local oscillator? Why we, we have to have a lo local oscillator in our RF systems? So let's see what is the purpose of designing a local oscillator, why we should have uh, this kind of block in our system. As we talked uh, before, we said uh, we have mixer, so we are doing a down conversion or up conversion here. In both cases, we will need a carrier here, the carrier signal. For example, we said it should be cosine 2p, for example, F0t. And we have to produce a signal which has a high frequency, and here it's F0. So actually, local oscillator is doing this job for us. Local oscillator produces us the... Uh, the carrier frequency that we need in up conversion and down conversion. Let's talk about some uh, RF oscillator types. Uh, generally, uh, RF oscillators are harmonic oscillators, and uh, the, this class of circuits are capable of producing a stable sinusoidal waveform with low phase noise. What is phase noise? What is phase noise? Uh, uh, we can see it from its name, phase noise. We always want to have the constant phase. phase. When we are producing our carrier, we say that our carrier is cosine 2pf0t. And here the phase is zero. And we always want to have a zero phase. But actually, uh, when you are designing local oscillator, you will see that we will have a little bit uh, variation in our phase. It means that this phase will change. It won't be zero. It will change. And this is called low, low phase. Uh, this is called phase noise. We always want to decrease this variation in the phase of uh, the uh, carrier. And uh, we're not going to talk about phase noise in details because it's a very uh, detailed topic, but we will have a course in the future for uh, oscillators and we will explain about the uh, phase noise. Uh, completely and like in details. So here let's uh, let's talk about the uh, harmonic oscillator types. So there are four types of tuned circuit oscillators, RC oscillators, crystal oscillators, negative resistance oscillators. I'm going to remove these two from the list because RC and crystal oscillators are operating at lower frequencies. Sometimes they're like up to uh, 10 megahertz, something like that. So basically, uh, we are talking about RF oscillators, for, so we really need fast oscillators. And so I'm going to pick tuned circuit oscillators and negative resistance oscillators. Let's talk about tuned circuit uh, oscillators. Uh, a tuned oscillator uses a frequency selective or tuned circuit in the feedback path and it's generally sinusoidal. So uh, as you see, this is the overall uh, architecture of the uh, tuned oscillator and we also call them feedback oscillators. So here we have a gain, we have amplifier here and we use a feedback and this feedback is a positive feedback. So uh, with using this feedback, we will be able to uh, have oscillation at the output and as you see our input is zero so basically this is a feedback from output of amplifier to the input as you see in this picture the Colpitz oscillator is one of the best examples and is commonly used in different kind of structures as you see there is a feedback path so if say we if say this is output and there's a feedback positive feedback here to the input of our amplifier and this is our amplifier as you see it's a pjt uh, amplifier so there are also another uh, circuits like a hartley structure we are not going to talk about them in details because we just want to have like a brief introduction to 
RF blocks. One of the uh, most popular uh, oscillators that are used in RF systems is negative resistance oscillators. And uh, they, are they are in the category of harmonic oscillators. The idea is very simple. So imagine that we have a RLC circuit and uh, we are producing a negative resistance using these transistors, this cross-coupled structure as you see in this picture. Then we can uh, cancel the resistance of the RLC with this negative resistance. So if they are cancelled at each other, what we will have at the output is only C and L. And this C and L will be able to uh, oscillate. So if we have only C and L, uh, we will have oscillation at the output. It means that the poles of the system write on the J omega axis. So, so here these are the poles. As we know, this is, a, uh, this is the poles for the uh, L and C. But if we have R here, the poles will be here. The system will be stable and it will oscillate, but finally uh, the amplitude will decrease and decrease and it will end. So we can't make oscillator with our LC circuit because the power is, dis uh, is being dissipated in this resistance. So we have to get rid of this resistance and the idea is here we, we make a negative resistance and get rid of this and now we have C and L and we have oscillation at the output. And uh, this table is showing some of harm harmonic oscillator circuits uh, like uh, Armstrong, Culpitz, as we mentioned, cross-coupled oscillator. And there are lots of, uh, as you see, circuits here. Uh, and also Vane Bridge oscillator is a famous, is popular among this. Uh, so as you see, uh, these are also the frequencies, but we are showing the device. For example, here at the left side, uh, the devices are shown, which are, which are used in this... Uh, uh, circuits and actually it can show the maximum frequency that we can reach here. For example, uh, we talked about bipolar transistor, we can reach lower frequencies as you see, but if you want to go to really RF high frequencies, we need a uh, maybe like high electron mobility transistor, which uh, this one is actually kind of popular. It's used in designing the uh, power amplifier as well. And as you see, there are different kind of devices with different kind of frequencies and different kind of circuits for harmonic oscillators. And uh, the last thing that, uh, and the last thing we are going to talk is voltage control oscillator. The idea is very simple. Up to now, we assumed that we are producing a signal, and the signal is, uh, is at the output of our uh, local oscillator. But uh, this signal has a single frequency. The frequency of this. Uh, signal is constant and we said it's FO if you remember but in RF systems you're going to see in future courses in RF systems we we have to tune the frequency of local oscillator it means that it's useless that we just have FO at the output only one frequency because in order to up, do up conversion and down conversion we have to use a range of frequency it means that we should be able to tune the local oscillator, local oscillator. And here it comes the topic of voltage uh, controlled oscillator. We call it VCO. It's an electronic oscillator whose oscillation frequency is controlled by a voltage input. And as you see in this picture, imagine that now we have an input here. And if we uh, change the voltage at the input of this block, we will be able to change the frequency as you see. And this voltage is constant. It's not changing all the time. For example, we set the value to this point and we leave it like that. So the, the local oscillator will start uh, working at the desired frequency. So as you see, when we are increasing this tune voltage, the frequency goes high and high. As you see here, we have higher frequency. So if we show the actually the formula of output frequency, FT is the output frequency of VCO is equal to F0. This is the default frequency plus K0 times V in T. So this is the control voltage as you see here. So uh, we also have K0, we call this uh, gain. And uh, this is the formula. So as you see, if we increase the V in, if we increase the voltage of VCO, we will be able to increase the output frequency and vice versa. So we say the applied input voltage determines the instantaneous oscillation frequency. Hey guys, thank you for watching the entire video. I'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking RF Fundamental Basic Concepts and Components, RA RF101. So you can uh, get this course from our website. If you go to the page, you just have to select the buy this course and register here. As you see, if you're not registered up to now. So you need your username, email, password, and also you have to answer a security question. And then you can uh, press the uh, register button, uh, press the sign up button and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website. 
Then after that, all you need to uh, do is going to the course landing page and uh, go to checkout. And as you see, click to enter your code. You can put the, the coupon code here and then apply the coupon. So then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course. As you see, you won't pay anything for this course. Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer. Since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies. It covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career. Your first step to take the prerequisite course, RAH RF101, which we have provided the free coupon for it, RFPREREQ101. See you there shortly.